that's a game we have to go back to soon. What? House Party. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they updated. That, that was what that was. They, they added not one, but two new characters. But are they finished? Oh, fucking no. I think they added to Layton. Layton? Layton? <laughs> <laughs> Professor Layton? They put Professor Layton in the game? How did they get those right? It's incredible. Oh, man, I can't wait to fuck Professor Layton. Oh, man. <laughs> Yo, fuck this. Let's go record house party. Fuck, yeah, fuck Professor Layton. <laughs> what a riddle. God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be going on this joke. Mike's gonna walk in. Yo, Mike, did you hear the Professor Layton? <laughs> Some bottles. I'm Pete. Welcome back to I Love You, Colonel Sanders. Okay, the finger licking good dating simulator. <laughs> the full that we said the full title every part. Good. Wow. The cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. I don't know about that one. <laughs> I don't know about that one, chief. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room, then tickles the end of your nose. That's when you find mouth. out that this game is Waters. about vor. Oh, God. Do you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Some might say, finger licking good? <laughs> Everyone, can I have your attention? Is it about right? <laughs> no, I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was murdering children. <laughs> <laughs> Out of folks, I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was. It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. Woo! But I. Shh. Yay! 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 <clears throat> she, she said, "Shh." In honor of the new semester, I have prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. That must be the smell I smell. I read it, but at night. <laughs> Indeed, that smell. You hold your breath, waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's very talented. But were the rumors true? Is this? Oh, oh my! Oh wow! <laughs> wow! <Bring. laughs> Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. Its contents glimmer in the light. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken, breaded and fried to a crispy golden finish. The aroma in envelopes you no the, aro the aroma envelopes you wrong <laughs> <laughs> the aroma envelopes you <laughs> you're right the first time <laughs> and you begin to feel warm and safe colonel sanders has filled a bucket with chicken what a novel concept your stomach begins to grumble, as if to say, Stop thinking and start eating. For years, I have been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. Oh my god, is it 35 herbs and spices? By my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance that's of why flavors. That's why you're the colonel. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. But that's all I say about that. What, you think we want your stupid secret recipe, dude? Pshaw. Nah, my dude, nah. I'm just, uh, Jesus drafting a last will and testament in case, uh, one of those ingredients is, uh, poison. Got him. <laughs> He looks around Hold nervously. Holding you to go with part two. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't watch JoJo's. He looks around. Said bitch ass. Stop. He no, looks around no. nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at his sick bird. You wait to see what Zinger Ashley has prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and I was just like writing in my diary. Dear Diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. You see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent. Oh, she's trying to get with that colonel. Ugh. He's ours, bitch! 
and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. She already, she realizes that what he is... What gender dis- are we? For, I have no idea, but does it matter? In 2019? I'm sorry for asking. <laughs> That's it for great. I just wanted to know what gender we identified as. Chicken! That's it for greatest and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants them all to herself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. Well, Van Van the Man Man, if you don't want any... I'll, I'll take his! Whoa, hold on, man. I mean, I guess I'll try it. He takes one oh bite. Oh my god, he's super snotted. What? <laughs> he takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. Easy now. There's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. I love that he's like Shakespearean. (laughs) It's amazing. (laughs) You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of this bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's like no one's heard of a fucking bucket before. It's amazing! Tasting We're going Sanders. ethereal. <laughs> Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. Alone with your taste buds, gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. Focus your mind and meditate on this moment. Try and identify every flavor, savor the moment, and everything that it tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart swim towards the light. The culinary heart one? Okay. The flavors in your mouth are beautiful, pure, heavenly. Uh, what, what a guy! guy. Alone with the flavors, you feel something that can only be described as love. For a man? For a flavor? Are they the same? After tasting his food, you try to get some one-on-one time with Colonel Sanders. You approach Colonel Sanders. Why is that a choice? Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he is doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel... I wondered wondered if if I I could could talk talk to you for a second. second. Anything for a fellow chef. What What exactly exactly was was on that that chicken? chicken? (laughs) How bold bold to come out and ask. It's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that would make me my fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. Oh my god, is this the origin story of Colonel Sanders? Oh my god. (laughs) It's, it's just, just you and me you're here talking. talking. I, I can keep, keep a secret. secret. In, In fact, fact, I've, I've got, got some of my own that I'd, I'd be willing to trade. trade. What's the rush? The semester is only getting started. We've got two more whole days to get to know each other. Wait, two whole days of a, two, two that's days. a semester? What the? I want to go to this school? <laughs> that's awesome! I can fuck Colonel Sanders and there's only three days of school? <laughs> and I eat chicken every day? <laughs> And my teacher's a talking dog? What? And Ashley's at the school? So I can hate fuck her? While sucking Colonel Sanders' cock? What a day! (laughs) What a three days! (laughs) Three days! Alright. He's clearly not going to give it up easily. But it doesn't hurt to be persistent. You know know what what they they say about about secrets, secrets, Colonel? Colonel? Shouldn't Shouldn't learning be fun? You got moxie. I'll give you that. Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone, and then leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. (laughs) Just one ingredient, but you can't tell. I use redacted. It's something (laughs) my great-grandmother taught me. Redacted. (laughs) That's my line. Redacted. Wow! You'd never have guessed that. In fact, you're not even sure where you'd get some if you search. <laughs> foot lettuce. Wow! <laughs> That's my head cannon. it's foot lettuce. <laughs> While you're wrapped up in that huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. While everyone else is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. We're getting a little stalkery now. Get off your phone, you get unprofessional your phone. swine! A night across the room! You... You find Colonel Sanders outside, standing in the quad. Sorry, I was looking at the timer. God. Oh, it's you again. Howdy. Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about how my story will continue on after I've graduated. Two days from now. (laughs) (laughs) No, no, that's only the first semester. All right. 
<laughs> it sounds like you have... Sorry. It, it sounds, sounds like, like you have big plans. plans. I dare say the biggest. I will leave my mark on this world. You can bet on that. Alone together for the first time, you figure now is the perfect moment to show your personality to him. Hmm. Negative to show your own strength. Wow him with a big idea to add an additional ingredient to really spice things up. Be modest but thoughtful. I feel like we should be modest. I we shouldn't tell him how to fucking do his recipe. No, we shouldn't. Yeah, be modest but thoughtful. Well, well I, I just, just wanted, wanted to, to tell, tell you, you that, that I really, really enjoyed, enjoyed your food. food. Now you've got his attention. Man, we are good at this We now. are... Dream Daddy really prepared. <laughs> Hell yeah! Playing the, it twice. The, the flavors, flavors were complex, complex but comforting. comforting. The, the interplay, interplay between salty, salty savory, and peppery. peppery. It, it was perfect. perfect. I appreciate the compliment, Botet9. I'm, I'm sure, sure you'll, you'll be, be a big success. success. I think we have two similar speech patterns. I know we've only met today. But I'm starting to get the same feeling about you. We should head back inside. The next lesson starts soon. You step into the massive cooking we're area. We're an Iron Chef now. We're we're in the broom cooking area, <laughs> where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could need. Look at this place. Here's it it's... needs. Sorry. <laughs> Wouldn't you say that my kitchen's complete? <laughs> it's magnificent. Finally, we get to show our stuff. Wait a second. Oh, no. We have to show our stuff. What if I totally blow it? Oh, God. You're not, You're not going, going to blow, blow anything, anything. Especially me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Except, Except maybe, maybe kisses, kisses to the, the crowd, crowd of fans, fans you're, going you're going to earn with your signature. signature. Adorable tiny food creations. Welcome, students, to the cooking arena. For today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. Naturally, Miriam looks over at you, but unable to control yourself, you pounce on Colonel Sanders. Oh, Jesus. Damn. Oh, my God. No, she cried. Oh, no. Oh, man. Colonel. Hey, Colonel. <laughs> Would you like to tackle this? Mm. Hold on. Beep, beep. <laughs> hey, hey, Colonel. 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 <laughs> Hey, hey Colonel, Colonel. Would, would you like, like to tackle, tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two, that is, me and you, if that wasn't clear. Want to be, be my, my partner? partner? Sure, Botet Nan. I'll prepare our station. Just puts buckets. <laughs> Just puts butter. <laughs> butter. <laughs> Without you as a partner, Miriam is left standing all alone. Two different students quickly take notice. Oh no! Oh no! We left her. Well, actually, one of them's a literal like oven. So <laughs> yeah, she has an advantage. It's an easy A. <laughs> Hello, new partner. I love the preparation. Yeah, I have to really get into it. <laughs> oh my! Two potential partners. I'm so sorry, gentlemen, but I don't know who to choose. The little boy. Or the robot. It looks like you'll have to pick for her. Uh -oh. Friend duties can be a little awkward, but that's the price you pay for not being alone forever. Clank. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. Fuck Pop. Pop can go fucking fuck. <laughs> Who do you want to ask to be Miriam's partner? Uh, Clank. Clank. Sorry, Pop, but, but I, I think, think Miriam, Miriam will be partnering with Clank, Clank today. Yeah, it's okay. I already ate. What? What were you going to do? I don't... What the fuck? <laughs> It's not... Pop's a real mystery, man. Uh. It's not entirely clear if Pop has any idea what the point of school even is at this juncture. <laughs> Clank is clearly excited to have some attention. He heats up and begins to roll back and forth. Warp, warp, warp. Hold on there, fella. We don't even know the assignment yet. Technically, Clank might not have a face, but there's something charming and earnest about him. Tissue? I hardly know you. <laughs> Clank judders, and a panel shakes loose. You get the impression that this is a sign of affection. Are we building a romance between Miriam and Clank? Hey, at least she won't be alone. Fair enough, said bitch. God, I'm so sorry. Will you <laughs> stop kicking the poor microphone? <laughs> it's gonna sue. Looks, Looks like, like you two will be fine. fine. Now it's time to focus on your own cooking classwork. 
Alright you two, for today's lesson we're going to keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide up the steps. No chef is an island. It takes two flints to make a fire. You get the idea. It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't. Uh, which dish do you suggest to your partner, Colonel Sanders? Steak tartar seems easy enough. It's fancy and you don't even need to cook it. Using octopus will blow Colonel Sanders' mind. Your grandmother's mashed, mashed potatoes, potatoes and gravy. gravy. Hell Here we yeah. go. I've always, always been something, something of a down-home down chef. chef. I was thinking we could make, make something warm, inviting, comforting. Maybe mashed potatoes. And <clears throat> gravy? I, I couldn't, couldn't imagine one, one without the other. Colonel Sanders cast a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go beat red. Beat. Embarrassed. <laughs> Embarrassed. That bee came out on accident. I'm sorry. <laughs> you quickly turn away. I'll, I'll go, go get, get the potatoes. potatoes. No, please. Let me. Pick in perfect pro Sorry. <clears throat> produce. Sorry. Produce? <laughs> no, please. Let me. Pick in perfect produce is a passion of mine. That's a, that is like almost a tongue twister. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like things are getting pretty fresh around here. Does someone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? We're, We're just here. cooking. Oh, some <laughs> Sorry. Actually, get out of here. Get out of my fusion. <laughs> We're, We're just, just cooking, cooking partners. partners. Mind your own business, <laughs> bitch. All right. Sorry. I wasn't prepared. Sorry, my half of the voice wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> I'm, my half is angry. <laughs> Sanders' heart is Sans. my. <laughs> Sanders' heart is my business. <laughs> 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 <Are> you okay. <laughs> I hope you randomly put like Sans in there for a second. <laughs> Sanders, <laughs> I can't say. <laughs> Ow. Stop it, Evie. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's breathe. <laughs> breathe. Okay. Sanders' heart is my business. And you... I said Sanders. I know. And you'd better keep your fingers off my man. Uh, did someone call for me? My <laughs> man, man. Ugh, no. That theme song. Did someone call Jim Sonoy? <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, no, jeez. Van, Van. Eyes. Her eyes. Oh, God. Shit. Ugh, no, jeez, Van, Van. While I'm over here crushing Potet 9 dreams, you're supposed to be taking care of our classwork. That was the deal, remember? He's crying. <clears throat> I have to, we have to do like a voice acting thing at the end, the end yeah. of this night. Colonel Sanders is. Colonel Sands. <laughs> Stop! Colonel Sands! Colonel Sands! <laughs> I love you, Colonel Sands. Right. <laughs> Colonel Sanders returns, arms full of peeled potatoes. He tosses them into boiling water and turns his attention to you and your old friends. Oh. Out of there, Ashley. Van Van. Are we working in a quartet instead of a duet now? Actually, no. It looked like Botet 9 was struggling, so we offered to give them a hand. <coughs> you know how it is. These young amateur chefs need a lot of mentoring. I was gonna say, Colonel Sanders, maybe I could also teach you a thing or two about fancy food. It's this fucking maybe, guy. Maybe... My spinach puff! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day you might be able to get up my level. Ha! <laughs> Doubt it. Don't be rude, Van Van. Personally, I have no doubts whatsoever about Colonel Sanders' You're ability such a thought. to concoct creations worthy of admiration. You just said cock and it's mad distracting. After all, your fried chicken was quite spectacular. Hi. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> but, Colonel, if you ask me, I might make a better partner for you than this thing that has positioned itself at your station. Don't you feel deep down that we cast complementary shadows? We fit together like a thigh and a drumstick? It just makes sense. Nothing about this makes any sense. But one thing is clear. She's coming for Colonel if you don't watch out. Ashley is really going at you hard. <clears throat> you need to ask for some backup here before things get ugly. 
Turn a Colonel Sanders, hunk a hunks. Do you want to try that need. one again? Turn a Colonel Sanders, <laughs> hunk a hunks in your time of need. Turn to Miriam, your forever bestie who always has your back. Uh, obviously, if Miriam is busy with a robot. With, right? Yeah, with, uh, with, with Clank. Clank. She's like in Clank. <laughs> Nerf this. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm, I'm here, here to, to learn, learn and to express, express myself via my cuisine. cuisine. Not, Not bicker with prima donnas. Ooh. Partners, Partners were chosen at the beginning of class, so well, let's, let's all respect the format, okay? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> nice. You Got turn, her. You turn to Colonel Sanders to confirm that you're on the same page. I chose Colonel Sanders, and, and Colonel, Colonel Sanders, Sanders chose me. Isn't that right? Said every person that has, uh, like... <laughs> Pledge their undying faith to KFC. A businessman respects all fair agreements, from contracts to handshakes. I took on Botet 9 as my partner for this activity, and I stand by it. It's activity. Activity. <laughs> Based on your team's behavior, I'd say you're perfect for each other. Neither of you has Botet 9's natural talent or their loyalty. Yeah! As, as we are, like, literally betraying our best friend. Const okay, we got her with Clank. Fair enough. Said bitch ass. Yeah. <laughs> Being defended by Colonel Sanders leaves you feeling proud and full of potential and a little wet. You, you, huh? you look for sprinkles. What gender are we? <laughs> chicken. <laughs> you look for sprinkles. Wet chicken? <laughs> oh, God. You look for sprinkles in hopes that he might step in, but he's nowhere to be found. Clank ate him. <laughs> Darn those cute corgis I and their eat. short but sturdy stature. I eat dog. You look down at your station and realize that in the tension of the moment, your hands have been cooking on autopilot. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Whoa! Help, I accidentally built a shelf. <laughs> ah. Distracted by the drama, you've already crushed the boiled potatoes into a perfectly creamy mashed texture with plenty of butter and cream for flavor. It's as if your natural passion guided you through the steps you know so well while your attention was elsewhere. I know just what to do. Colonel Sanders extends his hand. He's holding a beautiful white porcelain gravy boat, out of which pours a smooth brown gravy, smothering you n your- sorry, not you, <laughs> your nearly finished potato dish. <laughs> Oh my god! Gravy flows down the- don't, 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 don't. Gravy flows down the mound of mashed potatoes. The results look spectacular. Granny would be very proud. Mashed potatoes with gravy! Presenting Colonel Sanders! <laughs> Colonel Sanders holds a spork out to you. You reach out and grab hold of it. But he doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand holding the same spork. Oh my god. And for that small moment... Huh? All of the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. Your eyes lock. The moment is electric. Goodness. Time stands. Do you think this is what the original, like, Colonel Sanders, like... Looked like in, like, high school? Just, no, just, like, had in mind when he... Yes. When he, like, he was th starting this was KFC. Part, this yeah. was part of the 72-part plan. <laughs> this, uh, our 72-year-long plan to get <laughs> Timmy's fairies <laughs> to take over the world. <laughs> First we find a clown. <laughs> First we find Colonel Sanders. And then we make him make chicken. <laughs> we force him to make chicken. He's like, I wanted to be a clown. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the fun? Who should I turn to? Where is the fun? I'm so conflicted. <laughs> he was the one who restricted. <laughs> Alright. I actually watched that the other day. It's a good movie. It really is. <laughs> If you love something, set it free. Together you dig the utensil. I don't like that she's just there still. <laughs> Together you dig the utensil into the match. Wait, what was potatoes. that first part? Together. We can control the world! <laughs> <laughs> and lift a heaping sporkful up. When you see Ashley with a sinister look, you know she's plotting against you to be with Colonel Sanders. And then, filled with rage and without thinking, you fling the spork full of mashed potatoes oh, right into Ashley's stupid, beautiful face. What? <laughs> Van Van, do something, do something! Scooping up a fin fingerful, Van uh. Van tastes the dripping mashed potatoes and gravy and realizes that it's delicious. Horrified by this revelation, he slinks away. Will he ever be able to cook something with so much love and integrity? 
Hold on right there, Batet 9. We do not waste food in the broom cooking arena. Colonel Sanders, I expect better from you. If you throw one more spoonful, you both better be prepared to eat it from wherever it lands. Uh, uh, can I have potato face? Van Van rushes back over, a covered dish in his hand. Why is he Jojo? Mashed potatoes with gravy? Is that, that battle axe? Yes! That's so badass! <laughs> Mashed potatoes with gravy? Pathetic. In just a few minutes, I've prepared a full meal. Gaze upon my specialty. Braised tentacle of octopus with my silky saltwater sauce. Plated on a battle axe blade forged by my supreme chef ancestors. The bro stars. <laughs> You. You've ignored me for too long. That ends now. It is I who will have first bite, and you will all look on with envy. The interrupting student rushes at Van Van and swipes a bite of his signature dish right off the plate. No, don't! Something about this dish doesn't strike my nose quite right. I think the octopus was rushed and may have turned in the process. The results could be toxic. Too late. It has been eaten. I, uh, think I left something in the oven. He goes to throw up in Clank. I don't feel oh god. <laughs> Poor Clank. <laughs> I don't feel so good, Mr. Star. <laughs> it killed You want to tell me? It, it killed, killed him! him! Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Everyone step back! Don't take another bite! <clears throat> when you look at the plate, the rest of it is gone. You notice the tip of the tentacle being slurped and up in Pop's mouth. Did this turn into Doki Doki Literature Club? <laughs> it just shows Pop hanging. <laughs> Pop winces in pain for just a moment, then is almost immediately back to his oblivious self. <laughs> Oopsie. Tastes like poison. The entire class is gathered to watch Pop's final moments. <laughs> Shock has frozen the whole crowd. They are as motionless as a statue's. The and class he bell disappeared. Rings. <laughs> Disrupting the moment, so good. snapping everyone back to reality. It would appear that Pop's enthusiasm for trying new things despite obvious danger has inoculated him against poisons of all kinds. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure the professor's here to make enough money. Um, hello? <laughs> I just turned into a ghost over here! do 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 Seeing that you're shaken up by that really annoying student and all his nonsense, Colonel Sanders approaches you. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Please, let me walk you home. What? Like, for real? Oh, come on! This poor guy. <laughs> you follow Colonel Sanders out of the room. At night, the school building has taken on another vibe entirely. It's dark, and more than a little spooky, especially with that ghost that just is <laughs> here now. <laughs> I died. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> <laughs> or just, yup. Mondays, am I right? <laughs> yup, that's me. I bet you're wondering how I got <laughs> to this point. <laughs> Colonel Sanders stands in the quad's neon glow and speaks softly. Are we gonna end the part at some point? Yeah, probably like now. <laughs> if you like the video, like it, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. Hit that bell notification if you don't want to die of poisonous tentacles. Question of the day. What's the worst food you've ever eaten? Put that shit in the comments below. I'm bottles. I'm Pete. Goodbye. This music's really nice. Obviously.